Are we ready to go? Um, I've been ready for an hour. You have absolutely not. <laughs> Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Simon and today I am back with Louise Savage Muses or the artist formerly known as My Mummy. <laughs> and we're doing a reaction to the Booker Prize shortlist 2022 as we're going to be reading them together this year for the first time ever. I oh, know it's really exciting. How I, exciting? I, I, no it is because I love reading along with you and um, and also um, I don't know why the Booker doesn't really figure on my radar particularly always so it used it'll be to on mine I think um although I, I say this and then I realized that I've read all of the winners over the last like four or five years and loved them all but I think yeah. I felt like it mine and its taste weren't aligning so much anymore I don't know why that is I felt like it maybe got a bit too US heavy and I feel like a lot of the commonwealth element has gone because of the US being allowed in. But anyway, that's by the by, and that's a discussion that people have had probably for about the last five years. So, um, yeah. yeah. But um, so, Mum has no idea what is on the shortlist. I do know what's on the shortlist. So, just to be clear, so I'm going to be revealing them to Mum in alphabetical order. But before I do, do you have any thoughts on the long list or anything you'd like to see on the shortlist? I have only had a couple of cursory looks at the long list over the last month or so. Um, there are two books that I think I'd really like to have a read of, so therefore I'd like them to be on the shortlist, she said very selfishly. Um, one is Treacle Walker by Alan Garner. I think that's what it's called, is it? I think so, yeah. Um, and I, I loved his books as a child, and I've actually never read any of his adult fiction. I think it might be so, his first adult novel. Right. So, you know, that that um, that intrigues me. And um, and also partly because the front cover is a bit like the front cover of the Wolf Brother books that that your younger siblings used to love being having read to them when they were kids. So the cover sort of made me feel a bit nostalgic for that reason. Um, and um, the other one is the one uh, with Sappho in the title. Oh, um, after Sappho. That's it. Yeah, I did actually buy that as a gift for somebody recently because it looks so intriguing. Um, so, yeah, I'd be happy if either of those two were on the shortlist. Well, I... Uh, beyond... really... Oh, go on, sorry, Mum. No, it's fine. It's fine. Go on. No, what are you going to say? No, I was going to say, beyond that, I don't really know enough about the other books to be able to comment. OK, well, earlier today... I put on Instagram the books that I would like to see as my, and this is very arbitrary because I've read one of the whole long list, which isn't in this six, interestingly. So this is my shortlist, which was The Trees by Percy, Percival Everett, um, After Sappho by Selby Wynne Schwartz, Audrey McGee, The Connolly. Um, I always call it The Connolly. It's The Colony. I can't say that word. Colony. Um, the Seven Moons of Marley Almeida by Sheehan Karanatilaka, and Maps of Our Spectacular Bodies by Maddie Mortimer, and Night Crawling by Leela Motley. Out of okay. this selection of six, I think only one, no two, oh. have actually made the shortlist. So, without further ado, we'll whiz through what they are because people want to see that first, but then we'll have a little bit of a chat about them. So, first on the list is. Glory by No Violet Bulawayo. And this is um, like a riff on Animal Farm, but using animals to um, show the dictatorship in Zimbabwe. So right. this is the second novel. And um, I don't like the British cover. And since I've known it's on the list, I've ordered the American cover. So you can have this one, Mum. Um, but yeah, so that's. That's the first one. Then we have The Trees by Percival Everett, which I did want to be on the list. This is Good. a crime novel, which is quite unusual to get a crime on um, the book list, but it's also very much about um, racial tensions in Mississippi, I believe. Um, and I've heard that it's really gripping, but also really funny, but also incredibly... Uh, there's lots of themes within it like it's got a lot more going on than you think when you first start reading it I also really like that cover 
And I like the fact that he's an author who has had quite a lot of novels and work out, but hasn't been up for awards before. Oh, OK. I can't see the covers very well, I'm afraid. You're, you're tiny on my screen. I'll be able to see them when I watch it, though. There we go. This is what's happened. Mum's become huge <laughs> and I've become tiny. Anyway, moving on. You'll be thrilled that the next one is Treacle Walker by yeah. Alan Garner. And this is really slight. I think it's like 150 pages, but really tiny text. Um, sure. And I believe it's a celebration of folklore and myths and legends from the UK. That sounds like my alley. So we've got that one. Then another one that I wanted on the list is The Seven Moons of Marley Almeida by Shehan Karanatilaka. This is Sri Lankan. I mean, you wanted to go to Sri Lanka, so now we can do it through a book. And I believe it's told from the perspective of a closeted gay man who has been murdered and he's trying to work out who has murdered him and why. So oh, wow. that sounds quite different. And also, it's my favourite cover because it's just the most beautiful, colourful, delightful. And it's got a different name oh. in different countries. Oh. So, For some yeah. reason, like Poppy Show, like... Um... Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, like this got... one's Guy Day or Poppy Show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was just going to say that that has echoes of the 10 minutes, however many seconds, the Elif Shafak. Oh, Yeah. Head. Oh, interesting. I haven't thought about that. Then the book that I had read, the only book that I'd read on the long list and didn't put on my short list is Claire Keegan's Small Things Like Bees, which most of the book world is going wild about. I really didn't like it. So uh, is that one quite... the one you have? Yeah. And it's yeah. it's tricky when like because I'm looking at the long list at the short list now and being like Oh, I didn't like the only one that I've read, so I don't know how this is going to go. But at least I've read one, so I've only got five to go. Another short yeah. book as well. And last but certainly not least is Elizabeth Strout with O. William. And this uh, is actually the third in the Lucy Barton books. And I have a right. slight issue with books that have passed the first in the series being on the list. Oh, OK. Controversial. Mm. Any particular reason? I feel like you're probably missing something. Oh, maybe. Mm. Even though you're not. And maybe what I might do, if there's time before the winner's announced in October, um, I may try and read the two before it to see if it, like, yeah, that was my thoughts about doing that. But there we are. That's the six books. And they're actually not too big. <laughs> Is that a relief? Well, I think with our experience with the Women's Prize... Sometimes yeah. we've had quite a few chunks on it. So, yeah. So what are your initial thoughts on the books? I'm really excited by that because I'm really pleased that Alan Garner's there. I like the sound of the one. Well, obviously, I want to go to Sri Lanka. So I like the idea of travelling there by a book. Yeah. Um, I like the sound of the one about the closeted gay. That sounds intriguing. Closeted gay, um, man. Say that again. Closeted gay. <laughs> closeted gay. It, well, just, it, you know. it tickled me the way you said it. Okay, all right, fair enough. Um, and I also like the sound of the trees one because I like a good sort of crime type novel. Yeah. Um, I want to read the Claire Keegan to see whether I agree or disagree with you because that's always good. You know, I'm kind of hoping I might enjoy it. And then, um, and I've never read any Elizabeth Strout, so uh, that'll be good because I, I, in fact, I've just this afternoon. Um, well, I had my hair, I had my hair done, and then um, I Actually went into this <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, obviously. Um, and then I went into this fantastic charity shop. Um, it's a, it's a seven hospice charity shop, and at the back, it's like a bookshop, that, and they always have like quite current books as well as you know. And there was an Elizabeth Strout on the shelf, and I nearly, nearly bought it. I went for an Elizabeth Jane Howard in the end, in case you're interested. Oh, okay. The second one in the Casale series. So, um, yeah. Oh, very nice. Um, and what was yeah. the first one? Um, was the one that's a sort of, uh, it's kind of like a homage to Animal Farm, but it's Zimbabwean history told through. I think the horses might be the baddies, which is hilarious because anyone who's been watching this channel for a while will know my thoughts on horses. They know too much and they're dangerous. Um, Are there any in it anyway camels in it i don't know because i've not read it 
<laughs> but I think it's probably more farming. Like it's got, you are. Well, <laughs> I'm slightly concerned about that one because um, Animal Farm, I love George Orwell. I really like his essays particularly. Um, but uh, Animal Farm, I was completely turned off at school. Um, I was Sorry? Same. Yeah, and, and I've always refused to teach it. <laughs> um, well, so, this could be interesting. Exactly. And, you know, and, and but actually how, how fascinating. And there are some, some of our students who do study it with, with other members of staff who like it, which is fine. Um, so it might be quite interesting to see what they think of it as well. Well, apparently I'm coming into school and we're doing a whole class on it. So that's lovely. <laughs> I'm happy to see <laughs> that. Frank? Special guest, I'll pop in, have a chat with them all about it. Um, I'm nervous of that one for the same reason. I really, really didn't like Animal Farm at all at school. Like, really, really didn't like it. Um, but I think it's also the way I was probably taught it more than anything. Um, so I remember it. I've got, I know some people who've read Glory, I think it's called, yeah, Glory, um, have gone and reread Animal Farm before it. But I kind of want to go into a bit blind. So I think there's a worry with a book like that, that you'll go in taking that with you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You'll be comparing it straight mm. away to, to the one. Um, yeah, the Claire Keegan one, I didn't say much about what it's about. And the reason for that is, and I think it's also what made me cross with the book, was that it tells you, don't read the introduction first. That's okay. all the dedication, actually. I think it's even the dedication where I was like, oh, well, I know. Yeah. Do that with books. Well, it's the dedication, not the introduction, sorry. The dedication uh, gives weird. away what the whole book is about. And I think that was a slight issue for me. Um, okay. And I just didn't feel like it was fully fleshed enough. And it's going to be interesting because Treacle Waters had quite a negative reaction. Um, yeah, I've, I've had that on, on my um, channel where, you know, a couple of people have read it recently and, and not, you know, not enjoyed it. So, but... Uh, it's like, you know, it's, did you mention sorry? a channel there louise have you got a channel I, I have it's called louise savage muses and i will link it down below <laughs> because i'm <laughs> that giving um i think the one i'm most excited for is probably the seven moons of marley almeida right that sri lankan thing i love learning about cultures and countries that i don't know anything about and I don't really yeah. know about Sri Lanka. I think it also looks at the Civil War, possibly. Um, oh, right. Yeah, a serious it... satire set amid the murderous mayhem of Sri Lanka beset by civil war. Right, so it's contemporary, is it? Uh, 1990 is when it's set. Okay, okay. So, and that clock's Fair. in, I think that's the biggest one, and that clock's in at 390 pages. Let's just check on the others, because these are the things that I always look at straight away. Um, no, I don't like No, I never liked 400. snow. 400, that's, Gloria's bigger. Um, but yeah, so have you got um, a sort of plan of attack? Well, it, it'll be which ones I can get hold of. So um, I there is a, a bookshop, in an independent bookshop in my the town where I work, and I'm off to work tomorrow, so I'm hoping I might pop in on my way home. Well, the ones um, that you don't need to get are... I've got a second copy of The Seven Moons of Marley, Almeida. Oh, I've got another copy of The Trees, and I will have another copy of Glory. So I can send okay. you those, which means you've only really got to get... Treacle Walker. Oh, Treacle Walker, um, small things like these, which I'd happily send you, but I feel like I should keep it because we'll do videos That's together right. or something. Yeah, and it. It's nice to buy books anyway. And... Um, um, Oh, William by Elizabeth Strout, which actually means you're getting two that are in paperback. Because that's what's right. interesting with this list as well. Three of them yeah. are now already in paperback, which is quite exciting. Right. I've messed them up in yeah. order. Now. And yeah. um, how have we got? Oh, now that's a good question. Just one second, caller, and I will tell you. If you want to talk <laughs> amongst yourself, just for a brief moment while I look up it in the email. Uh, <laughs> Mum, chat away. Well, I don't really know what to talk about now. Shall I tell you what I'm reading at the moment? Would you like yeah. to know? Because I'm absolutely loving it. And and bizarrely, it was recommended to me by um, a YouTuber called um, Savage Reads. Don't know if you've oh. heard of him. 
<laughs> um, it's The Retreat by Alison Moore. Ah. And I've only got about, I was kind of hoping to finish it before we had this call because um, I've only got about 10 pages left. So I'm on, I'm on edge at the moment. I love Alison Moore and I think... I more, think it was brilliant. I like, think you more know, people I mean, should read her. Yeah. And there's a link there because her debut, uh, The Lighthouse, was on the book along list. Oh, right. Okay. Um, and then her second book, He Wants, is one of my favourite books of all time. It's really, really cleverly, poignantly twisty. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, there we mm. go. No, I think it's... it's, it's um, yes, it really gets... The, the, the character, the, the central character, has really got under my skin. Oh. Mm. Well, there we go. I'm saying nothing mm. because I don't want to give anything away. I'm not even looking in your direction because poker face. I shall simply <laughs> say that we have until October the 17th to read them, okay. which means right. really, oh no, I'm lying. Mm. Oh yeah, the winner will be announced on Monday, October 17th. Um, okay. But that means we've got to read it a little bit before that, because obviously we'll be recording our thoughts in advance. Yeah, OK. OK. Um, yeah. And I don't know if we're booked in to see each other in that time. So no. We can work on that. Uh, the next time we're due to see each other is that following weekend. Too late. Um, However, don't forget, it depends where you are. Do you know where you're going to be? From October at home. Oh, right, OK. Well, I might be able to pop up. Oh, well, not there that, we are, then. Not that I'm inviting myself for anything. Well, you're welcome to. You know that. You just have to make sure I know when it is so that I can make sure I'm in. Or out. <laughs> I didn't want to say that, Louise. I didn't want to say that. Um, so yeah, but no, I'm excited. And it's, fun, it's going to be fun reading them together and I think also actually yes. because we ummed and ahed about whether we were going to do it and sort of lots of people said they'd like us to um I don't know why there feels a little bit less pressure than yeah. I sometimes feel the women's and that might be because it's less books I think it's also because I do I absolutely love doing the women's prize but now but when I, when we've finished it I always have this absolute urge to read what anything I want to you know like yeah. just just read totally by mood but now because that's a while ago I've got to the point where I'm like oh um I want to read you know I want to read alongside you I suppose is is, is as much of what it is Aww. about but also I, I I would love to have more enthusiasm for the booker I think it's yeah you know, it's a really important prize and I want to sort of try and um yeah just just generate some enthusiasm from, from myself really about about the whole thing so I think as well I, I feel like with it I want to I used to read the shortlist for this quite a lot in fact I used to read the long list actually I think even possibly before the women's prize and then got more into that prize um yeah. but I've always like I said the last few years I've always read the winner and really really enjoyed them but I think I'm always a bit like so I did a video that was just for my patrons of me guessing the shortlist and it was really good fun because I did it with wild abandon and absolutely no like knowledge apart from the one that I'd read about any of the books so it was just a bit of fun but actually it's quite nice to be like properly in the conversation yeah 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 no I, I, I think yeah and I and, and it's lovely to pay attention to all the hype as well you know what other people are saying and and that kind and of thing. And I wonder so. if we'll be as aligned as we tend to be on the women's on the booker. Mm. I think it could be I think it could throw up some I don't know I don't know I, I want to uh, yeah well, well we'll soon find out won't we? We will because I think we've got what five weeks six weeks something like that I can't work it out I'll just work that out right now this second I really really prepared for this and um, my <laughs> mum decided to record this video very very last minute when I realized that she was off and I was off and I had the list early we have one two three four five five and a bit one two yeah just under five weeks okay which is good for sounds... me because I've read one yeah. already so I can do one a week oh but I'll try and get these, I'll try and get the three out to you um, that you've that I've got that you can have copies of ASAP. 
no, that's great and hopefully i mean I'm, the other thing of course is the library i might pop in there and yeah see how we go because libraries are brilliant well are. lovely to catch up with you mum and um, oh, i'm looking forward to us reading was... the booker together savages take or a savage take on the booker or savage uh, take savages take on the booker i can't yeah. decide what to call it Savage's take on the book sounds a little bit confrontational. <laughs> Could be. Could be. That's all so, I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Pick up. <laughs> We're going to pick up a booker. Can we pick up a booker? Mm, I don't love that so much. But anyway, let's move on. Um, this has been lovely, as always. And um, we will see you both in separate videos very very soon before we then are reunited on one of our so, channels but um yeah. as always it's been lovely and i'll speak to everyone very very soon bye bye